Hi ladies, Christine Tony here with Fashion Trends for 2019. I'm going to be showing you a lot of different things that you can incorporate into your current wardrobe. Some of them will coordinate with Bella Rose uh, accessories, of course. Uh, but I'm excited just to share some of these ideas that I've seen and kind of researched this week. And while I was researching, I'm gonna put those comments over so I don't see those. Um, one of the things I found were, were the colors that are, gonna, that are supposed to be popular that are in by the fashion uh, gurus, I guess, the, the New York um, runways and whatnot. These are the colors that are going to be the styles, supposedly, in the fall and winter. So I'm going to read off some. It's pretty funny because a lot of them relate to food. So I got hungry as I was doing this. So there's chili pepper. That one kind of makes sense, and I kind of like that color. It looks... There's. I'm going to post the graphic in the comments somewhere. So you'll have to look for that if you want to see the coordinating colors with these. But chili pepper looks like chili pepper. Um, there was a peach pink, that makes sense, and I'm all happy about that because that's one of my favorites and it will go great with the ethyl clip, which is that peachy pink clip I uh, demonstrated last night. Dove fruit, which is a deep pink. Paloma, which is a gray, which just happens to be the name of last, month, last month's Flexi of the Month. So I thought that was interesting. Rocky Road, which is a brown. Avocado, which is an olive, but I know I love av uh, avocados and guacamole, but I'm not sure I'd want to wear it. We'll see. And then dark cheddar was another one. Like I said, a lot of food. There were others, some I can't even pronounce. Um, there's a real pretty pink, and that was one of the ones that's French, and I wasn't sure how to pronounce it. So uh, you can all put it in the graphic, and you can see it in the comments. So those are the colors to be watching for. Well, I am not a fashionista by any stretch of the imagination, but I do love my accessories. And you'll see that I am sporting one of our hair bands as a necklace. You're gonna hear more about our amazing hair bands. They're so versatile from Diana tomorrow night. So be, be watching for that. But this is one that can be used as a hair band with the elastic that it comes with, or you can use it with an attachment magnet or chain to wear as a necklace. So this is one I actually wear probably more as a necklace than I do a hair band just because I love turquoise. So that was the first thing. Now scarves are in, even for summer, and I want to show you a couple ways that you can incorporate scarves into your wardrobe, your hair wardrobe. So this one that I'm using now, and this is probably going to be the best type for your hair. You can see it's not, it's not wide. It is fairly long but it's not very wide. It's a very narrow, thin scarf. This would be great for, you know, a belt, you know, with a, with a little tail, if you want to incorporate it that way. Um, but what I want to show you is a head wrap. And like right now, I have one of our turquoise hair sticks in with a top knot. And what I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that top knot in. And usually, even if I'm doing this with my hair down, which I'll show you, I'll take my hair down um, to show you another option. I usually stick it up with something to get it out of the way while I'm doing this. And I want, let's see, I'm gonna bring, I want these ends to match up over here. I'm gonna, I like my, my decoration, the thing I'm gonna do over on the side. You can do it right on the top, but I'm gonna try and do it on the side. I'm gonna crisscross these there. Let's see, it's hard to do. And then I'm gonna switch. So you see you've got that little, little tiny knot, okay? And then I'm gonna come down and you can do a couple things. You can tie it here, okay, and leave it, leave it loose. Try to have your ends even, mine aren't quite even. Okay, so that I've got that little, little cute knot there. And I can leave it just like that, okay, with my hair stick or other little rose accessory, and I can leave the tails down. But sometimes if you don't like the tails, you can fold them and tuck them up into the scarf itself, um, like so, just kind of roll it and tuck it so you wouldn't see it. So it just looks more like, I'm not gonna do it right now to save time, but you'll see, so that you don't have the ends. You can do whichever with those. But one of the things I like to do, uh-oh, where did my mini go? Oh boy, I didn't bring my mini. So, but what I'm gonna do, this is an extra small. I'm going to come into that knot, and you can do it a couple different ways. I'm just gonna crisscross it for sake of time. Whoops. Now, I prefer a mini, this is an extra small, so it'd be a little smaller than that. And to accent accent that, 
and um, you can just wrap it around. If you don't want the little knot, just go around twice and, and do that. And so if you're gonna do that, like on this side, you would, and this you probably would use an extra small, but it's gonna be a little wider, and, which is what I've done before. And just add that kind of side piece to add a little accent to your scarf. You can also put the accent if you have like a swerve that matches your hair and it's not gonna compete with it, you could even put a flexi at the bottom of the base to tie in, like do the little knot thing and add the bling, bling there. So many options with these, this scarf idea. So, and then if I want, I can take down my hair and I can still, it becomes like a headband. Okay, so it's gonna hold my hair back, I can do lots of different things with that um, and you can hide the tails you can let the tails hang down if they're long but lots of options with the head scarves i recommend those long narrow ones and i'm going to show you i didn't have her name this is my mannequin and she's got gray skin i don't know what nationality she's supposed to be i did not realize that when i ordered her um, but she's got a pretty face um, but i wanted to show and demonstrate i I didn't have a name for her, so I decided to call her Buttercup after our favorite family movie, Princess Bride. So this is Buttercup, just recently named. But I wanted to show you her scarf. She's got, again, it's one of these flowy um, silk. This is actually a silk, but a narrow um, scarf. She's wrapped around like a choker and then tied and knotted, a loose knot, and then the clip is attached, which matches beautifully, if you can see that. This is Iris that has blues and greens in it, so it matches this um, scarf perfectly. So there's that option. And then I also, I didn't wanna take the time to do this, so I did it on her. This is another narrow scarf, and I have it intertwined with our pearl hairband. So if you can see that, just to add some decorative accents to the scarf, I dress it up a little bit. I did anchor it with the hairband with bobbies in the back a little bit, just so it wouldn't fall off and hold it more securely since it's got the scarf too. Um, but I thought that was really cute. Um, intertwine, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe better back here. There you go, yeah, you're good. So I would not recommend doing both too much and they don't match, so. But I did wanna show you and demonstrate those. Okay, we'll put Buttercup back and I'm gonna take the scarf out. And I'm probably gonna put my hair back up because it's hot. Let's see, what am I doing next before? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to put my hair up. Hang on one second. All right. It is warm today. Okay. Okay, my top knot. Okay, so now I want to show you some more scarves. We did the hair ones. Oh, one thing I do want to mention with the hair, I almost forgot. If you want to incorporate, like I said, I'm not a hair person. I don't do braids very well, but I saw this as I was researching and it looks so cute. I just don't know if I can do it yet. I haven't even tried. Uh, might have to try it with damp, damp hair, we'll see. But what you can do is put your hair in a ponytail and before you secure it with the plexi clip, put, this is another one of those narrow scarves, put the scarf in the pin and then secure your hair with it like that. And then use your hair as one of the three strands to braid or you could do any type of braid um i don't know i don't even know the names of the braids but you could try the different braids incorporate your hair down some people do it on the side and then end up you know with the braid bringing the hair over it looked so adorable so if you've got hair skills there are a lot of options for you um, of course now i have it stuck on my finger there we go so scarves in your hair is really popular right now and I'm going to try and find more ways to incorporate them myself. So try that. Now the next thing are scarves um, just to wear and people think oh it's summertime I'm not going to wear a scarf it's hot but if you're ever out and about and you've got a sleeveless shirt on and I know where we are in the mountains it's hot during the day but as soon as that sun drops it gets cool. So I like to keep a scarf and a flexi in the car or with me in my purse or sometimes I'll tie the the scarf around my purse so it's always there I have it um, and of course there's always flexies in my purse and then I can use it if I need to but this is one of my favorite ways to wear a scarf now I do this in the winter and the summer I want to make sure there is a front and a back here all right this is one of our little rose scarves that I love and get compliments on it all the time so I'm going to scoot back so you can see I'm going to start with it 
one side longer, okay? So it's so just draped over to about, to come down to the waist a little bit, but not too much. So I'm gonna gather this part and I'm gonna, gonna place that over my shoulder. And then I'm gonna gather that up here right at the corner. And then I'm gonna use, I use a small for most scarves. Um, you want it to fit snugly and you don't want it to be heavy to weigh down. So the smaller, smaller size you can use the better because it'll be less weight to pull it down. But hopefully you can see how pretty that looks. And then you can adjust this. It's not all up in your neck. You can pull it down if you like. You can bring this further down. You can bring both tails down as an option too. So there are a lot of ways you can use this for the, for the summertime, a lightweight scarf. So I do recommend, unless it's a big bulky scarf, like the, oh, what are they called? I'm drawing a blank. The big heavy scarves, you would need to go up and you would possibly even a large, but those really aren't conducive because you would need a massive clip um, for the pashmina. There we go. Um, but they work great with thinner scarves. So um, if you're gonna have a silky scarf, like really narrow, I recommend an extra small um, as your best option because you want it to be snug because you don't want to lose it. So another option with these scarves, and like I said, you can wear the scarves traditional way, um, and then just put an accessory. You can put the clip here, like so, and you can adjust that. Um, I recommend to a lot of ladies, um, if some some people are romantics and they romantics and they like the pearl, this is grace goes with everything. Uh, but a lot of ladies wear a lot of jewelry and sometimes they wear silver sometimes they wear gold so a lot of times I will recommend one of the mixed metal uh, flexis for them because it has this one has copper gold and silver in it so no matter what their jewelry is their scarf clip flexi clip will match and coordinate with their jewelry so if you're wearing a lot on scarves I highly recommend having one of these in your arsenal because it will match all of your accessories so the mixed metals and then another one that just, I'm only gonna show a couple of these because really, if you look at Google or go to YouTube and look at scarf tutorials, you'll find a ton and you'll see easily how to incorporate Lola Rose into them. So another one, if you just, again, one, if you're out at a game and it gets cold and you just want some of your shoulders, you won't have a lot of access to your arms, uh, your hands, but definitely an option uh, for the scarves. So let's see, I wanna make sure I, Covered all those. Oh, and one of the, the other ways, I did, if you have an infinity scarf, this is a thinner one and I just love the colors, the purples and the blues. Okay, so with an infinity scarf, you can still incorporate a flexi. You could put one here. Um, I will often just want one on the side for decoration. This is violet and it goes so pretty. With this, with this scarf. So it just adds, especially if you're wearing scarves and it would cover up a necklace, this becomes your uh, accent piece or your statement piece if you're not, not able to see a necklace with a scarf. So a lot of times I will incorporate the flexis to coordinate the, with the rest of my jewelry and not wear a necklace. So lots and lots of options for scarves. All right, I'm gonna set these over here to make it clearer. All right. Okay, now another way to wear our clips are on our clothing. And if you've seen the partial tuck, you know, where you stick in just part and leave it out, I know some people don't get it and they think it looks sloppy, but it gives a little bit of shape to just see that, show that you have a waist. Um, so a lot of people do that. Another option with especially these long tunics or long, long t-shirts is to gather up a little bit back in the post so you can see that. This is a small, and I picked this one so you could see it easier, but I really would recommend an extra small, unless your shirt's really thick, because you want it to be on there securely and tight, because you don't want to lose it. I will say it is a risk to do this, because as you bump and move and get in and out of the car, you need to watch it, because it will, it could release, because it's a pin that's meeting around, it locks in, but you really need to be careful. Um, but I do it quite a bit, so, this is a small, I would recommend an extra small, just to give your shirt some shape. I said that right. And the other thing I want to show you is on a skirt, let's see, I'm gonna go to the right end. 
on my maxi skirts. I am 5'4", and a lot of times the maxi skirts I like drag the ground, and or they're called flip-flop dresses that hit the ground. I can't wear flip-flops with them because I need raw high heels to be able to, able to wear them so that it's not dragging. But what I can do is I take a, a flexi clip and I pull, pull it up to where, it's gonna be hard to tell without being in, but I pull it up into like an inverted V and I gather it up and then I pull just a little bit over to secure and the other one, but I think this will look better. You gather up some of that material and you need to work with it so it doesn't look awkward. Um, but if you work with the material, you can get it to lay right and to show like that. So, see? So, but that is a way, and again, be very careful, and I really recommend the extra small because they're gonna hold tighter and not let loose. But if you're kicking, get it in and out of the car, always keep, keep an eye on it so you don't lose it. But it works great for those. And while I have this here, I'm going to pretend that this is some really busy curtains. <laughs> so imagine with me, if you will, as a curtain tie back, and this is, I've got such a busy skirt, it's hard to see. I have a pearl, uh, ex, this is an extra large, actually no, this is just a large. No, it's an extra large um, tie back. And I've got tie backs, I change them out seasonally, I buy them when they're on sale, and uh, change out my curtain tie backs. So another option, for you to bling up your living room. So it can be in style too. So curtain tie backs, works with clothing. Did we say they're versatile? Truly amazing and versatile. All right, what is the next one? Get the skirt curtains. All right, for this next one, I'm gonna take my hair down. And stacked bobbies are really in. This is something I kept finding when I looked, you know, popular trends with hair. And I've seen a lot of pictures on on Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. But basically they take bobbies, decorative bobbies, and I was gonna use the pearl and the pink, and they just stack them on the side. So a lot of times they do a, typically a part, and I'm gonna have to put this back probably, a really heavy side part, like deep side part, so down here. So this hair is fuller, and then what they do is take these and then just kind of stack them make sure they're lined up you don't they don't have to be like all oh, they couldn't kind of stagger but they're stacked you want them to stay horizontal even with them but you just place those along the hair. Now you, I, you, I, uh, let's see, three or four. I've seen four. Let me go ahead and put in another one up above. Okay, so it's hard to see the pink ones in here. But so stacked bobbies are in. You could coordinate. We have some already coordinated ones with four bobbies that we have a beach set, a garden set, and I think a love set that already coordinate. They're all the same metals and their ends look nice together. Or they seem like they should go together. Um, you can do all pearls. I had a third pearl that you can do if you just want to do three, three pearls, but it looks really nice. And you can just do one side um, to keep that, that handy. And now, speaking of bobbies, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and show this one now. I had it for later, but if you're at the beach and you aren't reading. I'm gonna brag on my son. He leatherized this book for my daughter, so Chronicles of Narnia. But you can use, you can see that, a bobby as a bookmark. So um, you can pick any bookmark you like, but they work great for that. And then if you're reading and the wind starts to kick up and the bangs are in your face, you can use your bookmark to secure your bangs. So another awesome way to multi or multitask and use our accessories as bookmarks. So I have them all over the house. And so if I need to, to find a bobby, a bobby in a hurry, I usually try and say, okay, where's the nearest book? Cause it's probably got a bobby in it. So that is also an option. So while we're at the beach and reading, we always have our floppy hats. I'm gonna take these bobbies out so they don't get caught on hats real quick. When you take the bobbies out, and I'm sure that'll be discussed, be very 
careful because they're so tight. You can't take them out like normal bobbies. You've got to go slowly and like push the hair through and open them up um, so they don't, I should have done this probably last, um, take out your hair, but they're, they'll stay put. That's the amazing thing. And as long as you're careful, they're fine. They're not gonna damage your hair at all. They're awesome. And then one more. Sorry for the delay. Okay, so beach hats. And now I'm gonna probably put my hair back where it was. So I have a couple different beach hats and with this one is I decided to go ahead and I used the bobby to fasten up and tie up my the straw hat. It easily fits through the little the weaving there and I used the starfish flexi there and so it looks really cute cute on. You can add that on one side, you can adjust. So I highly recommend getting a floppy beach hat. Okay, this is a small one that's you can wear any time. It doesn't do a whole lot of blocking the sun, but um, it's really fun. It looks really cute. So that's an option for, for more function. You can get the big floppy hat. And this is my big take everywhere I go floppy hat because I want to keep the sun off my face. I highly recommend SPF for and sunscreen and big floppy hats to keep the sun off your face. But so you can have, this one is the Tideful Treasure and it looks great on our hat. Or no, I'm sorry, it was gonna be Tideful Treasure. It's Felicity, it's what, or um, Flitter, one of our dragonflies. Sorry, I was going for that. I didn't have the size I needed. So floppy hats work great. All right, we are coming down the home stretch, I promise. Oh, it's time for our question. All right, for the question to enter into the prize, what is your favorite summertime accessory? Okay, maybe it's sunscreen. I don't know. Think about it. What do you need to have with you at all times in the summertime? Okay, could be a fan, could be a beach hat. Up to you. Put it down here in the comments and we'll pick our winner in 24 hours. All right, we talked about the bookmarks. Now, if I saved the hat part for last, but the first, before we leave the beach, I want to talk to you about our hair towels. They are amazing for getting drying your hair very quickly. They're made out of bamboo fiber. They are luxuriously soft. I've had the ones that are microfiber before and they work. They're they're fine. But this one works I think even better and it just feels luxurious. And I love that it's white because you can wash it out. With some of the others you get makeup on them. You can't really bleach them to get the makeup out. With these are white you can wash any way you'd like. Um, and they work really well. There's a little button here. So I'll just show you briefly how it works. So I'm not going to tie it all up. You put it over your head, gather up your hair, twist it up, tie it, and button it back like that. So it works great. So as soon as I get out of the shower, I put my hair up in this. By the time I take it down, I put my makeup on, take it down, my hair is just barely damp. I mean, it really dries. And I can do, and a lot of times I don't do anything else but grab one of my little rose accessories and stick it in my damp hair and that's it for the day and it holds really really well um, if i'm drying it takes a very little dry time when you use one of these towels so that's awesome so once your hair is damp one of the great things if you shower at night especially is to put your hair up in a swerve if you want those beach wave beach waves without having to use a curling iron or go to a salon for a, a I don't even know if they call them perms anymore, but to get the wave put in, this is a neat trick. And my hair doesn't hold a lot of a lot of curl, but I love to do this at night. So when my hair is wet, I take a very high pony and I just do a bun. And the more I twist, the more curl I'm gonna get. So I really do a good job of twisting my hair. Oops. Put that swerve in pretty high on my head. It is so comfortable. I go to sleep like that, okay? It doesn't pull on my scalp. And when I get up in the morning and get ready to everything before, but after I'm dressed, I take it out, take my swerve out, let my hair down, and I've got some really pretty natural wave. It's not real tight, it's just a real loose natural wave. So I love to use the swerve for that. So now also I'm gonna show you a couple ways to incorporate 
hats into your um, daily hair wear. And then I'm almost done. So I'm gonna take the hat, pull the hair through. Okay, so just like normal, check the front. All right, so I have my hat. Now, sometimes you can leave it like that. But why do you need to do that when you can use all the little knobs? So a lot of times, and this is, a swerve is actually my workout tool. When I'm running, walking, exercising in any way, even swimming, I will put a swerve in to hold my hair. So what I do, I made a loose bun, not doesn't have to be really tight, catch the edge, go through the hole of the hat, across the scalp, and come back up through the hole to hold my hair on that hat. Um, I recommend if you're boating, have you ever had a hat fly off? and lose it, this will hold your hat on. So you won't lose your hat if you're boating at high speeds. So I highly recommend that. Another option are our U pins. And I love the daisies, they just make me happy. And I think they look really pretty with this hat. So um, I may do a tighter bun a little bit with this just so you can see them better. Um, but the same, same idea. Okay, catch little bit, go in, grab hair, slide along your scalp. Other side. You got to get under that the cap and just slide it in. And you've got a cute little button with your hat. So you can always be styling. You could do the ponytail, the wrapped ponytail um, that we demonstrated last night with that. And lastly, even a hair stick. So I'm going to do a bun with a hair stick. Okay, same, same idea as with the U-pins. I'm going to grab some hair from underneath, come back up through. So then you can loosen that up if you want it messier um, and looser. You can do that. However, that feels like really loose. Um, but it's a way to get your hair off your neck um, and wear a hat at the same time. So all good options. All right, that was the main thing. I'm also, if you hang, on, hang tight, I'm going to show you a glimpse of the grand prize. I got it mostly together. There's probably gonna be a few more things in it, but I wanted to show you some of the things that are gonna be in it for the lucky winner of the grand prize. So the last thing, as I was researching this, and I recently joined a group called Frump, Frump Fighters, and it's really got good ideas about how to you know, beat the front and be fashionable as a busy mom who doesn't have time to search the latest fashion trends, but you can still feel put together um, fairly easily. And one of the things that they recommend is a capsule wardrobe, if you've heard of that before. It's really big and it's trending right now, but you basically have a limited number of items that you put together in different ways to accomplish a lot of different looks. And really that's the same thing with Lilla Rose. I recommend and we all recommend a hair or a capsule hair wardrobe with some little rows. You can, you've seen how many different ways to do ponies, how many different ways you can use bobbies and all of these different accessories. You can multi, you get multiple uses out of each item. So you could get, a, have a U-pin, a set of uh, short U-pins, a, a stick, uh, maybe one or two flexi sizes, a hairband, and you're able to do so many different things with that. So be looking for those ideas and think of a capsule hair wardrobe as an idea. So it's awesome. And if you look up that group, it's called Frump Fighters. It's, there's a Facebook group. You have to answer a couple questions, but it really is, provides very valuable information for those of us trying to, trying to fight the frump. Okay, so here is part of the grand prize. Now I put it in this basket just to be able to show you. There is a luxurious, uh, beach towel, Little Rose Beach Towel. It is microfiber and I wish it was twice as big for a blanket. It is amazing. It's really thick and super, super soft. You'll get a hairband. This is a Montana hairband. I'm going to pull them out as I show them and put them over here. You're going to get a set of the bobbies and these are peachy pink, so they are going to be the new in color this year. So you've got your bobby set, a uh, cloisonne hair stick which is really pretty, and that is a retired item. You're gonna get a bamboo towel that we just talked about. 
You're gonna get a Lilla Rose bag that's purple inside um, to store all your Lilla Rose bling. You're gonna get a hand sanitizer at Lilla Rose. You're gonna get a, an exclusive flexi, that anchor. It's all silver, it's so pretty, it catches the light. And that is an exclusive and not available on the website. A mixed metal swerve that will go with any type of jewelry. Okay, it's a rose gold um, pin, but you won't really see the pin so much as the decorative part, so it'll be hidden. But it's the mixed metals with silver, gold, bronze, uh, all, the, all the metals. Uh, a bottle of rose water, which is amazing to help, especially in the summer when you're trying to fight the, the frizz and the little little hairs that want to stick out on the side. There are wing sprouts or side sprouts, as we, we call them. I, new hair, I'm thankful for new hair growth, but they don't, don't want them sticking out. This is a braided silver um, for an updo, a twist. And this is, I believe, also an exclusive. Let's see, a set of uh, Felicity. This is why I said Felicity earlier. Bobby pins. It's one of the only, or not Bobby pins, U pins. It's one of our only U pins with a dangle. So, really pretty. And the butterflies are two different sizes, which I really like. Actually, three with the dangle. A Paloma. This was last month's Flexi of the Month. And a microfiber drawstring Lilla Rose bag. It's great for sunglasses or just a couple Lilla Rose pieces. Um, so, I think that that's the start of it. Um, I'm going to go to the store and pick up a other few fun things to throw in there as well, but very valuable. I hope you enter. Remember the question that I ask and be sure to enter below for your chance to win. Be sure and tune in later tonight for all things Flexi with Marilyn at nine o'clock Eastern um, and be sure and tune in for that because she's going to have a lot of great ideas with Flexis. So have a great day. I hope this was helpful and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.